Hello, Andrew. Today, I'm going to tell you what one of the most awkward phrases in French is for English speakers. In case you don't know me, Rochelle DeMeo, your native French instructor from Valterre Academy. Tu me manques. Tu me manques. What does tu me manques mean? You're literally saying you are missed by me, but if you look at how the words are, it's not saying, if you say tu me manques, it's saying like I miss you, but if you look at the structure of the sentence, it sounds like you're saying that you miss me. So it's really awkward for English speakers to use that structure of tu me manques, and often I've heard students of mine or other English speakers say je te manque, and je te manque is like saying you miss me. But when you look at the sentence, je te manque, you're like, well, I, you, miss. So I miss you, right? That's how you would think it would sound. But no, and actually in French, to say that you were missed by someone, because that's literally the translation, then you could say, tu me manques. Tu me manques means I miss you. Or vous me manquez, vous me so either you're using the vous form or you're talking to two different people. Vous me manquez, you, I miss you, as a more formal, or I miss you, talking to two people. And if you're asking the question, est-ce que je te manque? Do you miss me? Est-ce que je te manque? It is a very confusing sentence. And why is that? Why is something that should be kind of simple so complex? So far, if you've already learned something kind of useful, give me a little thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified of our next French video every Tuesday. So the reason it is kind of awkward is because of the structure and what we call complément d'objet direct, complément d'objet indirect. So indirect, indirect object pronouns. If this is kind of a headache for you and you're like, what the heck is that? It's simply those little words such as I miss you, okay? Tu me manques, that me, that's what it is. And if you're really wanting to explore more how you would use these direct and indirect object pronouns, you can click on the video above to have the next video teach you how you could properly use direct and indirect object pronouns. So here's a little pointer and here's something that is gonna make a difference in how perfect you are in the French language. What you wanna do is simply learn the word order and as I've mentioned in other videos, the word order is actually really important. By knowing how the word order functions in French, then you're going to be able to easily apply it and understand why we use it differently than possibly what you are used to. Tell me what you'd like to learn in the comments below. Tell me something that's confusing to you, whether it's bon versus bien, I did a video on that already, or some other type of video, imparfait, passé composé, um, something else that you'd like to learn that's maybe confusing as an English speaker learning French so that I can explain it in simple terms. A bientôt tout le monde.